Good afternoon, everybody. Dante Dante Sagemasi. My name is Richard Van Camp. I'm an author, storyteller, father, husband, friend, son, you name it, whatever you want, I could probably do it. <laughs> As much as I read and as much as I, I love my life, I wasn't seeing it in, in any literature at all. I was not seeing it. And I said, when I was 19, I'm gonna write a story that I would like to read and I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the vicious, the romantic, the sweet, the kimuch. You know, in Cree, they say when you're on the sneak, you're on the kimuch, right? Everyone's looking for a nichimus. Right? Sweetheart, everyone wants Pamatsu in, right? Everyone wants a happy life. So I'm just gonna write my own little narrative. So it took me five years. You know, Lesser Blessed is one of the first novels to ever come out that dealt with being second generation survivor of residential schools. Because my mom and my uncles went for 12 years. They went to Brandon Hall and Grandin College. So I love taking on a brutal something and then, and then changing it or fixing it or illuminating it or exposing it so that whether you're in Hamilton or Peterborough or Haida Gwaii or Bella Bella, you can go, that's exactly the way it is here too. Thank God somebody's finally writing about it. But you know, here's the thing. I'm 45, I never had the chance to learn my language. I'm learning as much as I can with the time I have. In my lifetime, there are gonna be Tlicho authors and Mountain Dene authors and Gwich'in and Hare and Willow and South Slavey and North Slavey and Bushkri and Dene, Chipwayan. They're gonna be coming out of left field and they're gonna be speaking their languages. They're gonna be walking their talk because I see this now as a time of reclaiming. That's what we're using our literature for. So those of us who see medicines that are being lost, we're writing about them. Those of us who are see ceremonies that are being lost, we're writing about them, you know? What I love most about being a writer and when a story chooses you, they say the story is the boss. If you choose to accept that burden, there's, there's always a cost to what it is that you're gonna write. But there's also a gentle welcome into a sweeter, greater mystery than you. So when you're pulled into what it is you are born to do, you know it, you feel it, you can't explain it, right? But a wise writer listens, right? A wise storyteller listens. And sometimes when I'm telling stories in a room, I don't know why I'm saying it, but someone will burst into tears and you start to understand they called that, that story from me. Story is the boss. <laughs>